Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ray Almgren. Well, good morning. Welcome to day three of NI Week. On behalf of everyone at National Instruments, we want to thank you for attending NI Week this year. And of course, encourage you to attend NI Week 2011, same way, same place next year. Now, I'd also like to personally thank Jeff Kodowski for giving each of us a master's degree in computer science yesterday. <laughs> thank you, Jeff. <laughs> now, at NI Week, we've made a tradition of starting the day three keynote by highlighting great student achievement using NI tools to solve grand engineering challenges that are relevant to society. This year is no exception. We have three truly inspirational student teams that we're going to show you this morning. Now, NI, like other global technology suppliers such as TI, Intel, Xilinx, Microsoft, and Freescale, we're all committed to improving engineering education and inspiring students to enter the fields of science and engineering. Earlier this week, we introduced a product called NI MIDAC. It's a student-owned measurement device that we think is going to have a big impact. We think it will truly transform engineering education by allowing students to do engineering anywhere, anytime. And through our unique partnership with Texas Instruments, we're able to make this product available to all students for less than the cost of a textbook, only $175. Now, I think each of us are having an impact, but throughout history, it turns out that there are watershed events that really impact the way that our profession is viewed and the interest in our profession. In recent histories, the most dramatic, of course, was in October of 1957, the launch of Sputnik. It launched a massive investment in scientific research and a societal shift to invest in math and science education. And a bold and audacious challenge to put a man on the moon, something that captivated the interest of society in ways today that is only possible with the World Cup and the Super Bowl. At that time, we all understood the importance of science and engineering. We talk today of the need for a moonshot to get that inspiration back into the hearts and minds of our students. Well, in April of this year, those of us who live in the Gulf Coast region got our moonshot. As the images came down over the weeks and months from the satellites, the message from outer space was, Houston, you have a problem. Now, this was absolutely a failure in engineering, but we're now starting to get better news. As you saw on the news this morning, it looks like the kill is in place, and the final kill will be done in a couple days, and we're going to start getting back to normal in a few years, 